Hey guys, so you're from Tactical Combat. I'm gonna do a video today, reply to one of my friends and my subscribers, No Limit Baka. Um, I'm not gonna read the whole text because it's, it's huge, but I will say um, the most important thing that I want to give you guys. He asked me, I have a question or more like a video idea. What is the best way to de-escalate a fight when running isn't enough? Okay, in my experience, in my experience, and I have to say, when I was in Cuba, I was very skinny, I wasn't built like I am right now. So now I am 186, 188 pounds. I was 140 pounds, 136 pounds, 175, so more or less the same size. I mean, the same size that I have right now. And I don't want this to sound racist, but the black guys in Cuba, which a lot of them. I mean, there is a lot of them, there is no racial issues like here, they don't get mad if I'm calling them black or whatever. Um, they are very built, genetics guys. Look at your Romero. I mean, most of them look like that without even going to the game. So, I have a situation, I'm not gonna explain, I'm not gonna explain how I got into the situation, but I try to get started. I say to both of them, I don't want to fight. They say, oh, because we're afraid. Because there is people, you gotta understand, you have to think we're animals. We're animals. And and sometimes when a dog wants to bite you, you wrong, he's gonna bite you even harder. He's gonna even try to kill you. So, um, if you show fear in your de-escalation side, they may try to hurt you badly. Or just to put an example of you, so they just feel more manly than they are. So, these two guys, I was, I really didn't want to fight, but I was super young, I was 16 years old, I had experience already because I had fight already, and I wanted to show my girlfriend that I could kick their ass at the time, so what I said to them is, okay, if you, want, if you guys want to fight, which one wants to go to the hospital and which one wants to be paralyzed forever? Okay. The moment I said that, they look at me like, are you crazy? I said, yeah. Which one of you wants to go to the hospital for a few days? And which one of you wants to be paralyzed for the rest of your life? Or maybe blind, you guys can do it. And they were like, huh? Is this guy crazy? Said, okay, let me clarify. So they were, I would say, four feet away. And guys, I'm sorry, I haven't worn. This doesn't come out good. I just want to show you. And I said, okay, let me explain. Run! And I did a hook kick to the face. But at that time, my hook kick was like super amazing, like fast. Not like right now. Now it's decent, but not like before. Like, run! So, but I did it like not even putting hands like I did right now. Like my hands were here and I throw the hook kick. Ah! And I said, okay. Again, the question is, which one of you wants to be paralyzed? Say, so which one of you wants to be paralyzed with one of you wants to go to the hospital and kind of in the hospital? And they were, oh, this guy's crazy, okay, leave it there. Why is that? Because I shock their brains. You have to think the science behind it. If you come to fight with me and I throw a kick to that wall, you're not gonna feel good after you see it. If you go into a room and you see a dead body, you're gonna be shocked. So there is type of sensation, sensations that enter the body, in the nose, ear, eyesight, and coaching. I mean, the feeling of the skin. So the point is sometimes you need to intimidate, but you need to have the skills to back it up. That's this video for today.